Hi everyone, it's Miss Charmaine and it's great to see you today. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope you've been playing a lot and having fun. Today we're going to read a story from our Bible and our story is from the Old Testament, the book of Ezra. Our story is called God's House. So let's get started. Now, King Cyrus was a very good king. God told King Cyrus to let his people go back home to Jerusalem. It was time for God's people to build a temple, a house for God, a church. God's people were very happy they said, hooray! God's people started to build the temple right away. They worked very hard. But after they finished the, the bottom part of the temple, the floor and the foundation, God's people stopped working on it. Instead, they, they started to work on their own houses and planting food for their own own families. You must work on my temple first, God told them. Don't worry about yourselves. I will make sure that you have all the food you need and a place to live. God said, I will take care of you. Here's our first picture of King Cyrus and the people working on God's house. So the people went back to work on God's temple. And when the temple was finished, the people said, this temple belongs to God. And we belong to God too. We will obey and worship him. We are his people. God's people promise to follow God and put him first. And God wants you and me to follow him and to put him first too. Here's our last picture. Everyone is so happy because they have finished God's house and they're proud of it, and they lift it up to him. That's a great story. God, you know, God had to remind them when they got kind of busy and, and worried about themselves and they forgot about his temple. He had to remind them that that they needed to put him first, that it's important because he's the creator. And he said, I will take care of you. Trust me, you'll have everything you need because I will take care of you. And you know, sometimes he has to remind us too because we get busy in our life and we wanna do this and we wanna do that and take care of this and that. And God says, no, 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 don't forget about me. Put me first. Be sure you give me your love and time because I will take care of you. I will provide. You just need to, to open your heart to me and remember me and trust me. Let's pray to God right now. Dear God, we're glad that you remind us sometimes to just slow down and, and to think of you, to put you first. Because when we do that, God, you take care of us because you love us. Thank you, God. We love you too. Amen. 
Thank you for joining me for our very important story. A great reminder that we should put God first because He loves us and takes care of us. You all have a great week. I'll see you soon when we get to have our Bible lesson, okay? Everyone have fun and stay safe. Bye-bye. God bless you.